Hello, everyone. I'm Mike Ventola here with the Highlander Sports Network, and joining me is Brianna Omar from the NGIT women's tennis team. And Brianna, first and foremost, I want to thank you for joining me. Thank you for having me. Of course. Now, Brianna, what led you to come to NGIT? What was it about NGIT that wanted you to continue your academic and, of course, your athletic career? There are a couple of reasons why I chose to come to NGIT. One being it's so close to home. I'm a huge homebody. I have a three-year-old brother and a dog that I adore. So I wanted to be able to go home as much as possible. Another thing is my dad graduated from here, and I wanted to continue his legacy, I guess. So, yeah. That's great. So, so your your legacy, and also to um, so the dog and the brother are nearby. So, if you don't mind me asking, what kind of dog do you have? <laughs> a mini golden doodle. Okay. Yeah. So, and he's been like the biggest source of my happiness, like since I got him. And another reason is the tennis, of course. I yep. forgot to mention it last time. Uh, Coach Zaki actually was a big reason why I came here. I liked his energy, his dedication, and I didn't feel like at any other school a coach would be able to really work with me as as I wanted. So, no, it's great that you know you talk about Coach Zaki and that he's been able to help you in your development as a player on the court. And you know, from some of the things you've gotten a chance to work with him here, what's been the biggest difference compared to when you were in high school? Uh, well, previously to coming here, I quit tennis for two years actually because I was burnt out. And when I came here, before I came here, I wanted to play college tennis, and he really put in all this effort into me, and he believed that like I could be great again. And because I was top ranked before that two years, I went to private schools or homeschooling for tennis and everything and he really brought back that spirit in me and like that will to want to play again and I'm so thankful for it. And it's been able to show so far on the court because yeah. you've been off to a really good start you know in your singles play and even in your doubles play. Um, what do you think um, outside of some of the reasons you mentioned what about technically have you been able to improve uh, since the start of the season? Uh, it would definitely be my consistency. When I came here I was just banging balls whether they're in, out, at the bottom of the net and Zachy told me, like, there's no way you're going to win any match like that consistently. You need to play consistent tennis. And he taught me how to get my first serve percentage higher. He told me how to hit, like, good approaches, like, inside the court with good margins and everything. And just playing smart, to be honest, instead of just hitting the ball as hard as I could. And, you know, as you're getting a chance now to get some more matches, once again, underneath your belt, and as the season continues to roll along, what are some goals that you're hoping to accomplish? Uh, this season, I'm just trying to win as many matches as possible, and I want to be relied on for this season. I know we're going to have a tough season because we are playing top schools, and I want the team to be able to rely on me and count on me and clinch these matches because the team is, like, what's most important to me. No, that's great, and, you know, um, for being a tennis player, do you have a preference whether it's singles or doubles play, or, you know, or is it kind of doesn't really matter at that point? I've always enjoyed doubles because I love being at the net, so I love playing doubles. It's definitely more the fun aspect of tennis. When it's single, it's all on me, and it's more intense, and you don't really have anyone to have fun with or talk to during your match. So I think I enjoy both equally, but it's much different because singles, my mindset is completely different than doubles. You know, it's great getting a chance to hear about your story and want to wish you much success here at NJIT. Just one more question, you know, for any future athletes that may want to come, whether it's play tennis or any other sport, or just a student that wants to come here to NJIT, why should they come here? They should come here because the academics is great, the atmosphere is great. If you want to come in here, you're not that social, you're going to find a lot of people in the athletic community that are going to surround you and you have no choice to be friends with. I'm not that social, but when I came here I had so many friends, I had a great atmosphere and I'm just like so fortunate to come here and yeah, the athletics is great, the academics and the social life is awesome. So. Well, well, Brianna, it's been getting Thank you. it's been great to getting a chance to talk with you and uh, best of luck like I said and you know, uh, bring the dog getting around every now and then. I'm sure coach Zaki won't mind, you know, if the no. dog comes and uh, you know, and cheers you on. So. Team awesome mascot. <laughs> that's great. So, that's going to do it for Brianna Omar. I'm Mike Ventola. Thanks for watching. Thank you.